Welcome to this public meeting of the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Today we are considering a staff proposed final rule to establish a safety standard for curb mattresses. It's an important rule that will establish mandatory safety standards for crib mattresses, address hazards from entrapment, laceration, and suffocation. More than a decade, more than a decade ago, Congress called on the CPSC to protect babies by establishing standards for durable infant products, and this is a, an essential step towards that mandate. Staff have identified nearly 500 incidents associated with crib mattresses since 2010, with at least 139 deaths. This rule will ensure that all mattresses used by infants meet essential safety standards. Recently, we heard from stakeholders about one aspect of this rule, the incorporation of existing voluntary standards for the aftermarket play yard mattresses. Um, we approved this final rule today. We'll be uh, requiring industry to meet the standard that it set for itself, the voluntary standard. I'm aware that an ASTM subcommittee is examining this voluntary standard and considering changes to it. While I understand that CPSC staff and other stakeholders have concerns about the current proposal, the process is going forward as it should. If this rule becomes final today, it will not mark the end of uh, CPSC's participation, that effort at ASTM, nor will it set a current voluntary standard in immutable stone. Our process is clear. If the ASTM subcommittee makes changes to its standard that improves safety, the commission will be able to incorporate them uh, into the rule through the statutory update process. And I welcome any changes and updates that advance consumer product safety, but we should start by providing a baseline of protection for infants and children. Um, we have several staff members present at this meeting. With us are two members of our staff who briefed us on the proposal in November, Hope Nestra, a program manager for children's products, and Mary House, attorney in the Regulatory Affairs Division of the Office of General Counsel. And also in attendance are Mary Boyle, the Executive Director, Dwayne Ray, Deputy Executive Director for Operations, uh, Dwayne Boniface, Director of the Office of Hazard Identification and Reduction, Austin Schlick, the General Counsel, and Alberta Mills, the Commission Secretary. Each commissioner will have up to five minutes for questions. After questions are complete, consider any amendments. Once again, I remind everyone that's perfectly permissible to voice your personal opinions on the legal issues. Um, it's not appropriate to discuss any advice given to us by the Office of General Counsel outside of executive session. The legal advice you receive must remain confidential. And finally, I ask all panelists, commissioners, and staff to mute your computer if you aren't speaking. We experienced feedback in the last meeting and just want to make sure everyone is watching can hear the proceedings. Um, with that, turn for questions from staff. I don't have any. Commissioner Biacco, do you have questions? I do not. I do not. Thank you. Commissioner Feldman. I do not have any questions, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I did, for the record, uh, want to state I received a letter last night from uh, Alan Schoem, who is representing uh, Dream on Me, an industry stakeholder in this space. Uh, with unanimous consent, I'd, I'd like to enter that record, uh, the letter into the record. Uh, but I, I have no questions at this time. Without objection. Uh, thank you. Commissioner Trumka. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I have no questions. Thank you. With that, we turn to entertain any amendments to the uh, proposed final rule. Um, I don't have any amendments. Commissioner Biacco? I do not. Thank you. Commissioner Feldman? I do not have any amendments. Commissioner Trumka? I have no amendments. All right. Seeing that there are no amendments, I'm going to move to uh, the. I move to approve the staff's final uh, draft final rule for crib mattress safety um, and to direct publication of the same in the Federal Register. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to the vote. Commissioner Biacco, how do you vote? I vote yes. Commissioner Feldman? I vote yes. And Commissioner Tromka? I vote yes. Um, the yeses are four, the noes are zeros. Um, the motion to approve the draft final rule uh, for crib mattress passes. The final draft rule has been approved and shall be published. It, oh, I'm sorry. I realize that I didn't vote. Um, so I should say 
I voted yes too, which is why I counted myself uh, ahead, ahead of myself. So I vote yes, four yeses, zero noes. Um, the motion to, which honestly, you could have approved it without me, but I do want to vote on this as well. Um, the motion to approve the staff's final uh, draft final rule for crib mattresses passes. The draft final rule has been approved and shall be published in the final register. Um, now I just want to give uh, everybody 10 minutes uh, per commissioner for any closing remarks. Um, I'll just take a couple minutes and just say thank you to everybody, um, commissioners and staff. Um, and really pleased that we completed this, this rule today. Crib mattresses are long lasting product that families use and reuse for, for many years on end. Um, and a rule governing their safety is long overdue. With this vote, we're ensuring the, the standards governing the safety of these durable infant products will keep up with the times. Um, babies shouldn't face hazards in their cribs. Um, that place should be the safest for them. And play yards should remain safe, whether a parent uses uh, the mattresses sold or the ones that buy in the aftermarket. And today's rule is an essential step forward. Um, and I look forward to working with everybody going forward to keep this as strong as possible. Um, I do want to thank Joyce Davis, the president, for keeping babies safe. Joyce's petition was the impetus for this rule, and her dedicated advocacy on behalf of her son, Garrett, is inspirational. And all this, uh, again, I want to thank all the staff for their work and for the commissioners for working um, together. Um, with that, Commissioner Biacco, do you have a statement? Yes, thank you. Um, this one was a close call for me. Uh, I'm not thrilled with um, some of the data that was relied upon. I also remain extremely concerned um, with this rule as I have with some of the other um, infant rules that we have passed, particularly recently, that we are uh, and we know that parents do make uh, adjustments uh, even though they know what the best sleep patterns should be, they know bear is best, they know the ABCs of sleep, they do take steps to, in their mind to make babies more comfortable by adding blankets and pillows. And those things in a play yard or in a crib, as we all know, um, increase the risk of harm. And so I do hesitate um, and worry that some of the rules that we pass, including this one, uh, do push parents into making decisions about their children that are not necessarily in their best interest. Um, I'm also a little bit concerned that um, we have, it's my understanding anyway, that we do have another um, voluntary standard uh, at issue either, and I'm not clear on the votes, but either uh, today a ballot was being taken or it's going to close within a few weeks. And I, I voiced uh, concern that maybe we should wait on that. But having thought about it, um, I hope that the voluntary standards organizations start picking up the pace. A lot of the things that this particular commission has addressed recently have been around um, for way too long. And I think the voluntary standards organizations, uh, they do a lot of great work, but I would encourage them to um, get these uh, updates and get these voluntary standards in place sooner rather than later. Um, that being said, I, I do and I support the uh, rule and I do, I am concerned that, um, you know, for baby safety. So that's, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Bianco. I, I do agree. The bear is best, and we need to get that message out there. We need to figure out how to do that best. And um, so thank you, Commissioner Feldman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I, I want to uh, take a moment just to thank staff and my fellow commissioners for uh, everybody's hard work on on the rule today. I think this is an example of the 104 process uh, working as it should. What a standard that uh, is is strong and uh, addresses the safety issues with a, a durable uh, 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 nursery and infant product. Uh, I want to echo, Mr. Chairman, the, the statements that you made uh, at the top of the meeting today with respect to the ASTM process. Uh, what we're doing here uh, uh, you know, contemplates additional work within the ASTM uh, su subcommittee, uh, and there is a process that's spelled out in statute within Section 104 uh, to, to make adjustments uh, as necessary and, and within the scope of that law. Uh, and I think we will continue to engage. That's my hope and expectation. 
uh, and make adjustments as necessary and, and, and when appropriate, hopefully sooner rather than later. Uh, but I think what we've done today uh, here is, is good and, uh, and, and, and puts a, a, a 104 rule in place that, that's going to improve safety. Uh, we're all better for that. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Commissioner Tillman. I agree. Commissioner Tromka. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, again, thank you to staff and, and to the other commissioners, everyone who worked on, on getting this rule in place. Um, I've got two young kids, and, and I, I can't count how many times I've woken up in the middle of the night and felt this, you know, I felt compelled to just go check on them to make sure they're okay. Parents worry about whether their kids are safe, particularly when they sleep, and even parents who know all the rules of safe sleep. And we know to put babies on their backs on a firm, flat surface with nothing else in the space, but even then we worry, and, and we don't always know why. We also make some assumptions about the things that we shouldn't have to worry about, justifiable assumptions. A lot of parents assume that the government's checked the safety of anything sold as an infant product, particularly an infant sleep product. But for too many things, that's not true. And until today, it wasn't even true for the one thing we tell parents that it's safe to have in a baby's sleep environment, mattress. But with today's passage of the final rule, we've come one step closer to meeting parents' justifiable expectations that we're ensuring the safety of the products in their baby's room. And I'm very glad we did the right thing. Uh, I also uh, just want to mention how much I agree with Commissioner Biacco's sentiment that um, we're not going to wait and have our pace dictated by anybody else. We need to move move quickly, and and I hope others keep up. So with that, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Um, and I would say once again, thanks to staff and all my fellow commissioners for hard work on this rule. And with that, this concludes the, uh, today's decisional meeting of the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.